let me share with you some oh, some fun tips too that I have discovered that you may enjoy seeing how I do things and it won't be what you expect. Hmm. <laughs> Hello, I'm Yvonne, and welcome to having you on. It's time for another edition of In the Crib, and today's episode is all about organizing hanging clothes for your reborn dolls, but it works for any kind of closet that you may have some hanging clothes and how to organize, well, how I, how I organize my reborn dolly clothes, and perhaps you'll like some of the ideas that I have to share with you today. In the Crib is a segment that I do on my channel from time to time where I show a how-to or select a topic that I want to talk about. <laughs> and I'm so glad you're here. So let's get organized and get into those hanging clothes. And here's some tips I want to share with you. Here we go. You may have noticed I have a lot of hanging clothes, so that means I have to know where things are and pretty easily too. Let me share with you what I do. So here we go. Come along with me. It's fun. <laughs> At least I'm laughing. Here we go. So often I have seen people organize their closet, especially their hanging clothes. That's what I'm going to be talking about. The hanging clothes is they'll take the hanging clothes out of the closet, including, you know, reborn dolly clothes, and they will place them on a bed and the pile will get higher and higher and higher going up vertically. And you can't really see what's underneath and it's hard to keep track. And the next thing you know, the, the hangers intertwine with each other. and It just turns into one big hot mess <laughs> and it's very frustrating. And for me, I came up with a solution to that. Wouldn't it be nice to have a completely empty closet that has no clothes in it at all? Hmm. Well, I don't have one, <laughs> but I wanted to make one. Well, temporarily that is. So I came up with this method. I take a pole. Uh, this is a curtain rod pole that I found. A neighbor was throwing out. It's very easy to find them because <laughs> they look like this, right? They can be shower, curtain rods, whatever. But this one uh, is a curtain rod of some sort. And what I do is I place it. Well, come along. Take a look what I do. Come on. Come on, how can I hang things up in midair? Well, I kind of can. <laughs> Come along and I'll show you how I do it. Here we go. Now you can see that I have levitated a closet rod out into space. No, <laughs> don't I wish I could do that? No, I simply suspended it between two chairs and I added a little towel in between so I protect my chairs. And <gasps> now I have a floating closet. <gasps> a floating closet where I can hang. Oh, ooh, it gets better. <laughs> Let me show you. I know you know what I'm going to do, but it's so much fun and so much easier. So here we go. So I hung a few clothes up for you to see this floating closet. I just absolutely love this. This is what I do for seasonal clothes or clothes for certain holidays. I get them out and I hang them up and so I can see them all at a glance versus piling them up vertically that I can't see what I have. And this way I can move things from one area of my closet to another area of my closet. And it's so easy and so much nicer than piling them up sort of loose and they get all tangled. And you can group things together far as similar things and it allows you to make sure that you have all your accessories with one outfit that came with the outfit or whatever you want to put with an outfit you have things all together and I want to show you there is another floating closet method their method other than putting between two chairs is this <laughs> this one if you have big uh, doorways and such. There are these expandable rods that you can, they're a lot like a shower curtain, you understand what I mean, that they can expand and get shorter and fit in uh, larger doorways. And so these are nice too, that allows you to create a hanging closet <laughs> temporarily so you can move things out of your closet in and sort of organize things. I just want to show you that there is also that method too, if you don't want to use the two chairs. And let's share some more things with you about oh, 
hanging clothes, of course, along with me. Oh, what about those hangers? I know. What about those hangers? So let me talk about those hangers next. So here we go. One more thing I wanted to point out before I move into the hangers, <laughs> talking about them, is with the two chair method and the rod on the backs of them, with supported by a little bit of towels, so they one, they don't roll, and two, that they don't damage your chairs in any way. And the chairs surfaces, the seat part, provide another area for you to organize your reborn dog clothes. You can take out items perhaps that you wish to donate or you just don't want anymore. Perhaps you'd like to sell the items. And look, you can separate one side for donations and another side for something you might sell. See that? <laughs> Two surfaces. <laughs> it's actually three, right? The hanging clothes and the two sides. So uh, that's what I like about the chair method. But as I said, I wanted to get into the hanger. So let's get into the hangers. I keep them all organized in a shoe box. And why do I do that? I have, well, not all of them, you know, <laughs> my clothes are hanging on the other ones, but I do keep some spare empty hangers to help me organize, especially seasonal clothes, or holiday clothes is that I can hang them up and organize them and I can see what I have and it's very helpful to do so. So let's get into the types of hangers. So I like the really thin plastic ones. Doesn't matter what color. <laughs> and um, I just really, well, let me tell you, it, it does matter what color. Perhaps you would like to organize <gasps> more. <laughs> Perhaps you want to put the boy items on blue hangers and the girl items on pink hangers. Perhaps you'd like to do that. Or you want to put Halloween clothes on the orange hangers. You see how far this can go. And it just goes on and on and what you can do. And that's what I like to do with the spare box of hangers that I have is I like to get out seasonal clothes and that way I can hang them up and I can see them. And the thin hangers don't take up very much space. I know that there are the thicker hangers. I got rid of just about all of them. This is not as thick as they normally come, but I found out with these, they just take up too much space and I don't have a lot of space to work with, especially for metal coat rods or uh, metal closet rods. It works uh, it slides a lot easier with the thin plastic ones. But I also have discovered something I really love are these velvet hangers like this. It has a metal top. And what's really nice about this is they slide really easily on wooden rods, wooden closet rods slide so much easier. And look how thin doesn't take up very much space at all. I have found these two sizes work best for me. This is more of a toddler size, but it also works on infant size clothes as well. Larger ones, especially about six to nine months, works perfectly on, we call this the child size. And they also have the infant size, which I like a lot. And it is smaller. I'll show you the size comparison. So you can see, see that? And it has this velvet type surface to it and it stops clothes from coming off the hangers. And these work so well on the wood. They slide so easily, but they could also work on metal rods as well. But I really like these. So that's what I've discovered with hangers. What's so nice about the floating rod method for organizing your clothes is you can return your clothes from the floating rod into your closet, now organize, and you know where everything is because you place them in there in an empty closet. And you can turn your floating rod back to inside your closet and set it aside for the next time you want to organize your closet. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of In the Crib, organizing, hanging, reborn doll clothes and please stick around for more episodes of in the crib thanks so much for watching i'm yvonne thank you for watching having you on please subscribe so you don't miss <laughs> that's all for now the reborn feel good channel